Tov, Bukar Or. Or a beautiful and good and filled with light moment, whatever time of day it is for you. As you're joining us, either live or through the recording in a future now. We're going to be focusing this meditation to bring healing and connection to the Jewish people via the <clears throat> fifth blessing of the Amidah, where we're asking Hashem, the divine, to bring us back to ourselves. And the first step for me of coming back to myself is always placing my hand on my beautiful heart. So I invite you to do the same, to close your eyes. And place one or both hands over your heart. And connect to that beauty that exists inside of you. The beauty that is the force of life. The same vital force that animates the trees. And helps them build upwards and outwards. Even as they're planting deep roots into the soil. The same animating force. It supports birds as they fly millions of miles in the air. The same animating force that takes a seed and turns it into a full-fledged life, whether that's a plant or an animal or you. <clears throat> and as you feel the rise and fall of your chest, I invite you to feel how the breath of life is animating you. How this vital force is running through your veins. How light and love are coursing through you in this moment. And this moment. And this moment. And with your mind's eye and the space under your hands, I invite you to connect to your breath. And feel it slowing down. As you feel the muscles in your You feel yourself growing heavier. And you feel your skin softening and letting go. And with this softening, I invite you to imagine that with these precious hands of yours, you're holding the entirety of yourself. And perhaps it's not so easy for you to 
have compassion or offer forgiveness. To the adult that you are, despite the fact that in the eyes of the divine you are but a child. So I invite you to feel your body going back in time. <clears throat> year after year, feel yourself going back to your youth. your adolescence to those awkward prepubescent years you feel yourself holding the child that you once were and the baby that you once were until you feel in your hands there is but an infant and that infant retreats back to being a fetus and then just an egg And feel in your hands this little egg. Teeming with the potential of life. Are you that egg? Or are you something beyond it? And I invite you to connect to the pure light that you are. pure light that decided to animate this particular egg. And feel that light inside of your chest. The ray of the orange self of the infinite one. Feel the beauty of that light. The purity of it. And I invite you to focus on that light that's under your hands. Right at your heart. And nurture it with love. Just keep thinking about love and feeling love towards this precious, precious light. And allow that light to bring a smile to your face and a warmth to your heart. And 
and invite that light to expand outwards, filling your entire chest. and filling your entire body. And then reaching beyond your body is an orb of light that surrounds you. As if your own light is the womb in which you live. and allow that light to continue to expand so that it contains everyone in our community participating in this meditation in the present now or in a future now. As we see ourselves in a circle, and in the center of the circle is the light that represents the entirety of the Jewish people. its brilliance, its color, its beauty, its genius, its compassion, its love. The wonder of this light is a reflection of the light that is inside of you. And the more you love this light, the greater the light inside of you grows. Its beauty is a mirror of your beauty. And just like sometimes you forget the beauty of the light that you are, our nation forgets the beauty of the light that we are. I think this is why we have a mitzvah to say the Shema multiple times a day. We should remember that we are at one with the great light. So first I want to invite Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses, our teacher, <clears throat> to join us here in our circle. He whose light shone so brightly it was palpable to all of those around him. 
he who saw the beauty of the Jewish people. And guided us to see our life. And beyond our circle, I want to invite the angels that are constantly guiding us to manifest our light and protecting us as we do so. Michael, who holds us in loving kindness on our right. And Gabriel, who protects us and supports us on our left. And Uriel, who guides our way by showing us our light and reflecting it back to us. And Raphael behind us, who heals our wounds, who helps us remember the light that we are. And of course, above us, we have the divine presence, the Shekhinah, shining down on us. And I invite you to feel that light of the Shekhinah in its brilliant light shining on your head and warming it in your shoulders and your arms and your chest and your back and your stomach. filling them with the light of love, beauty, and your legs all the way down to your toes. The light of the Shekhinah keeps washing over you, loving you, and cleansing you, and helping you remember who you are. and see the light of the Shekhinah washing over this great light in the center of our circle. That these two great lights can reflect each other and dance with each other. And as they do so, see the light in our midst growing ever brighter. the light of the nation should wash over you as well, filling you with its CPA, with a vision and a hopefulness for the Geula, for the redemption. The redemption that brings you back to the light that you are. And as we're connecting our light with the great light of the nation, and connecting the light of the nation with the light of the Shekhinah. I invite you to lift up your hands and have them palms facing outward towards the center of the circle. We're going to bless our nation with the light of the Shema, with the truth of the unity of ourselves as a people and the unity of all that is. You can say it with me. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad 
two more times. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad No that what God created the world and he spoke the words, Vayhi O, let there be light. He was talking about you. Because he was already infinite, pure, divine light. But he wanted to create a smaller light to reflect that greater light. And that's you. So I invite you to bring those beautiful hands of yours back to your precious heart. And bless yourself with the blessing of Vaihi O. You should be able to remember the light that you are, the lights that you are a part of, and the light that you reflect in the world. And may you continue to be a blessing and a source of light for the entire Jewish people. When you're ready, I invite you to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes and slowly bat your eyes open and thank yourself for showing up today, for bringing more light into your life and more light into all of our lives. May the Jewish people be blessed and protected and healed and may we only hear good news. With blessings from Jerusalem. Amen.